We managed to drag ourselves out of bed this morning and it was quite an effort actually to get ourselves out of bed this morning. Um, but we sort of forced ourselves because I think this morning is going to be one of our best chances of seeing a, a decent sunrise um, of our week up here. So um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, we're at a spot called Farad Head, which is not far from Cape Roth, which is on the northwest uh, tip of Scotland. Um, and uh, the reason we're here is that it's one of it was a spot I photographed before and basically when I was first starting out I think probably as soon as we got the camera it was one of the earliest photos mm -hmm. I took which I'll, I'll pop up now um, and uh, yeah basically this location has these uh, interesting sea stacks out to sea which I think are quite photogenic so I'm going to see if we can get an image of those um, and also we've got uh, Whitton Head which is out behind us um, and that's in the direction of where the sun's going to be rising um, so I might uh, crack out the telephoto lens and, and, and try getting an image of that as well and also there might be some seabirds for Hannah to take photographs of there are some cormorants but they're a very long way away so <laughs> I'm just admiring them through the binoculars yeah um, actually, this spot, if you come here early in the year, has got puffins as mm -hmm. well as a great site for puffins. But yeah, not wrong time of year. Wrong time of year for puffins now, they've all left. But mm. um, yeah, maybe we'll come back another year in the spring and try and do some puffin photography here. So I think we've managed to get some nice nice images, haven't we? Oh, I, I hope so. Um, I've been taking photos of a sea stack um, and I have isolated just the sea stack. So there are loads and loads of rocks in the, in the water, but I wanted just this one sea stack. And for me, it was important that there was green on it. I can't explain why, but <laughs> the colours, I just, it had to be the sea stack with the green on it, with the grass. Um, Do you have, you're a little bit OCD, aren't you? <laughs> a little bit. Um, so the other thing that I was taking photos of um, were the cormorants, and yes, they are quite a long way away, but there was this really disobedient cormorant that it was beautifully silhouetted. I wanted a single cormorant, because there were loads of them, I wanted a single one silhouetted so that the sea was the backdrop and not the rock. And it just kept moving. And it wasn't that I was scaring it because I am so many hundreds of meters away from it. It just decided that it continued, wanted to keep walking up this um, sea stack, or well, boulder thing. And it got to the top, it paused for a moment. I got the camera ready and then it flew away. So, yeah. Yeah. Wild wildlife, life. wildlife. Um, yeah, well, I was I was having a little bit of a play. So I was um, first of all, as the sun was just rising, I was taking some shots of Whitton Head, um, and I think that those um, were actually really nice. As the sun was coming up, we had some really nice colours in the sky, um, and I thought that those worked quite well. And then, uh, so I was using the 400mm lens for those, and I was actually just using a, um, a four-stop ND originally for those and a polarizer. Um, Are you using it at 400 though? Yeah, uh, no, I was probably using it about just over 100. Mm -hmm. um, but then I switched over and started doing some panoramics actually of the sea stacks um, using a 400mm lens, which I think is the first time I've used a 400mm lens to do a panoramic. Um, it'll be interesting to see how those turn out because it's quite windy mm -hmm. and obviously when you've got the 400mm lens on a tripod, you've really got to watch that shake. So. We'll see, Which we'll is why I've lowered right down. Um, yeah. I was just trying to add anything to mitigate the, the wind yeah. fact. And also, because of that, I didn't use the ND filter because I wanted to use quite a, quite a fast shutter speed because uh, I didn't want those long shutter speeds to, to introduce that shake into the images. Um, but I think they might turn out okay. It's hard to, hard to tell on the back of a camera. It's hard to tell until you blur it up on the screen yeah. whether they're sharp or not. Um, but just as, a, as an interesting exercise in using a 400mm lens to do a panoramic, which sounds a bit absurd, but um, I, think, I think it worked quite well. Well, oh, that's what it, I did at Glencoe. Yeah, because it's, it's basically isolating out the sea stacks mm. and zooming in quite close, because they're obviously quite far away. Oops, I'm falling over. <laughs> obviously quite far away, but to try and isolate them with that, that longer mm. focal length and then create a panoramic with them. That yeah, makes perfect sense yeah. to me. Yeah, but, exactly. Yeah. So, so I, I, I'll be interested to see how those turn out. Um, and I then mean, panoramics, you can never tell how they're going to turn out 
until you're in post processing. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But we'll see. I think I think it might work. Um, and then finally, we had some really nice sun rays coming out over Witten Head. So whilst you were taking photos of the cormorant, mm-hmm. um, I was again actually I was using the one hundred the twenty four to one o one o five mil lens, and I had it zoomed in about halfway. Um, and I was taking photos of the sea st- of not the sea stack, the, the, the headland. Um, and we had these rays of light coming down across the headland, which just looked amazing. But also there were cormorants flying around. So what I was trying to do was capture the headland with sort of silhouetted cormorants flying in the foreground. And I think I managed to get a couple of images. Yeah, um, yeah so I was just using the polarizer for that, no ND filters at all. Um, and yeah, I think we've got some nice images. Hmm. Worth getting up at. Definitely worth silly o'clock in the getting morning. up at silly o'clock in the morning. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Um, we're going to head back now and get a cup of tea, I think, warm well up a little bit. Well deserved cup of tea. Definitely, yes. definitely. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Um, please consider giving this a thumbs up mm-hmm. and please consider subscribing. So. Yep, see you next time. Bye for now.